you know that the reporter took, did a double take when he saw me because he couldn't recognize me wearing a hat. So I <laughs> thought I was incognito for a second. <laughs> so I want to say on behalf of the city of Eugene, you know that we've told you from the beginning that this was a pilot to try this out to see if it would work. Congratulations. I think it's beautiful. I, I'm so um, grateful to the community and all of you who live here and work here. The things that you put together here, who knew this could all happen? Who knew that we could make, you all could make this happen? So we're so, so proud of you. Congratulations. Conference, Neighborhoods USA Conference in uh, Eugene. We had people from all over the country. And believe me, we wouldn't have put you on a tour here if we didn't think you were worth looking at. So I just want you to know that. Uh, and then I want you to know the people who came and, and we, we had wonderful tour guides. So wherever the tour guides are, they did a fabulous job with this group that came through. And I thank them for that. I don't think any, many of those people who came had ever thought of something like this. So this just is a way of opening up people's minds across the country of the possibilities. We will learn from each other. We will do better. We will figure out more ways. I had a couple of takeaways that I thought were sort of significant for them, too. One is, I am grateful for places like the Mission that offer shelter. But as I listened to the three women who took me around, on the, took our group around on the tour, there were two things that uh, struck me really big. And one was, what a relief it is to be safe. And somebody asked, well, how is it here next to the police and next to the public works? And the, the answer was, it's good. It makes me know that I'm going to be OK. And I don't think people, I think people, unfortunately, a lot of times think about being safe from the homeless as opposed to the need of the homeless to be safe. So I just want you to. And the second piece that I thought was really uh, a learning thing for people in our community and communities across this nation is, you know, it's a very simple thing that we take for granted, most of us every day, of the housed people. We take for granted that we will every day be able to decide when we want to get up and when we want to go to bed. And what I heard from these people is the dignity of a being a human being is to be able to make those kinds of decisions for yourself and not have them being made for you. So it's a, that's a very big learning thing, right? right? <laughs> So I just think this is a this experience is a falls into the category of what I call grace. Aww. So just want you to know. That. I also want to say before uh, I finish my few comments here is that we know this is only serving a few. We know there are many more throughout our community and across this nation who need the opportunity to be housed and to have control over their own lives and their own destinies. And so you've done an important step in the learning of people in this nation and in our community. And we are thankful to you, we, and we will keep on working. We will keep on working together. Thank you. Woo!